Hi everyone, I'm Gregory Nietzko. And I'm Kasia Janacek. We are professional obstacle athletes. In this educational videos, we will present you the training basics of the obstacle discipline. Video 1. Getting ready. A general intro to the obstacle discipline. Video 2 and 3. Obstacle explanation. Let's take a close look at the obstacle. As pentathletes, you already have other four disciplines to train, and therefore the content presented today needs to be additionally adapted for your current training routines. Hope you enjoy the content and keep following us on the IUPM educational platform. Video 1. Getting ready. Intro to the obstacle discipline, basic equipment, physical preparation, a training session. Obstacle discipline is a head-to-head -head race that consists of overcoming eight obstacles from a start line to finish point on a course between 60 and 70 meters. Athletes can run, walk, jump, climb, scramble, lift, carry, or otherwise prepare themselves across, under, over, along, or through the obstacles. If an obstacle is followed by a landing platform, the condition for the correct completion is to land to the platform. If no platform to jump with both feet beyond the line marked on the ground or mattresses underneath the obstacle. Let's see what the basic equipment of the obstacle discipline is. Please pay attention to what is allowed and what's not. In the obstacle discipline, when it comes to equipment, there are a few important things that we must remember. Athletes must compete in sports shoes. Do not wear shoes with spikes. It's good if the sole is not too thick because too much cushioning may make your foot feel worse on the ground, less stable. You can use wristbands, compression sleeves and taping. Sunglasses or eyeglasses are also allowed, but only with safety stripes. Jewelry is not allowed. You can't have any watches, necklaces, rings, etc. Also, loose apparel or unsecured hair. What's very important, it is forbidden to use magnesium, chalk or any other sticky substances on your hands. The situation is different with gloves. They can be used, but we do not advise it. They can be useful in the initial period of training to protect your hands from abrasions and curl until the hands get used to it and become more durable. Pent athletes have a great sport preparation. But let's remember that the obstacle course requires slightly different skills from each of competitor. We need to work on the acceleration, hand strength and grip. As a start, I suggest simply acceleration such as sprint, pull-ups or hanging on the bar. Once we build the foundation, we can start thinking about obstacles and transition. For the main preparation, we don't need entire obstacle course. We only need one simple bar construction to start. We can do it in the gym or outdoors in the park. We start with general warm up on the whole body. Do about 15 minutes of simple exercises. Target training should focus on shoulders, grip and legs. Running pull ups and training on simple obstacles will increase your predisposition. You can run over obstacles, jump between bars or from them. You can do box jump, long jumps from the bar and grip exercise like timed hangs. For basic construction, you can use scaffolding or aluminum truss. Both solutions can be used to hang different obstacles. Don't forget to put materials or mats underneath the construction for your safety. So 
See, See you in, in the, the next video. video.